Welcome back to AIWF Network, and we are backstage. I, I, it's been a crazy You're so show. I'm so excited. I know. I'm also very old. <laughs> Next, uh, we are going to the ring for it. It's a six man match. It's man. a six man tag team match. We got Asher Zero teaming with the two time former AWF world champion, Mr. Justin Flash, as well as Derek Winters from Supreme Wrestling in Madison, Indiana, taking on the team of the Minotaur coming out of retirement after two years. The former golf coach champion is teaming with Jekylls the Clown and me. So you? The rest of the no, not me. His, his oh. name's me. Oh, I thought. I was like, you better get changed. I like, you man. Get I better go. keep going. I know. Right? <laughs> All right, let's go to the ring, and our ring announcer, Matt Carver. The schedule for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first team number one, the team of Minotaur, me, and Jekyll. Flash has always, he's always been the fan favorite here in Mount Airy, pretty much everywhere he goes. And again, this is, uh, you know, because this is the AIW anniversary show, we're seeing a lot of talent that uh, isn't normally here uh, in the middle. And the opponents all over are the, the team of Chase Bennett. Asher Zero yeah. and the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, Justin Flash! Yeah, I mean, it's just like we said earlier, we have people that come from all over the United States, and I think we even got somebody that flew in from another other countries. Yeah, I believe we have to the, come in here. competitor here from Australia. Yes, yes, so, one from um, Sydney, Australia, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, the AIWF is, a, uh, is an international organization, and, and it's, it's good to, uh, to have once a year have all these different promotions bring representatives uh, uh, into this area to celebrate the, uh, the birth of the AIWF. Mid-Atlantic yes. was the beginning, but uh, this is what it has... Uh, Hey, I it mean, blossomed into. I mean, we're no. Don't get us wrong. We're no. We're no WWE or anything like that. But we are a global and international. We could say that we are a global and international company. We just don't have the extreme popularity, is what you would say. Is right. Yeah, we're not WWE. a. We're not a multi-billion-dollar yeah, corporation. Exactly. However, we do have. 
multiple promotions who who recognize our world champions as their champion. Right, exactly. And I, is to me, I think it's one of the largest the wrestling umbrellas around. The biggest bull, literally the biggest bull in this matchup, which is uh, the Minotaur. And uh, I saw uh, I saw Jekyll compete uh, last night in uh, uh, PWL in West Virginia. He's uh, a very impressive competitor. And, uh, Justin Flash and uh, and his cohorts uh, they had their work cut out for them. My yeah. goodness, what a shoulder tackle! I don't think Justin Flash was expecting that. I, I, I think you're right. Here comes, here comes uh, Jekyll into the. Flash tagging out, getting the fresh, getting the fresh man in. He's circling, feeling each other out. I don't know that I would really want to even try to come close with somebody who's dressed like that. Yeah, you're, well, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, a, uh, it's one of those things you like to call the uh, intimidation factor, the psych out. Well, now he's going to play mind games. Again, there's the psych out. Got him looking up. And hit him. Hit him in the mid. Hit him in the mid section. Not really working that mid over. Big hit toss. Another arm grab. Nice drop kick. Nice drop kick there by Bennett. Jekyll again doing the right thing. It's uh, again not not maybe not be very popular here with the fans, but he's he's breaking the momentum. When when, that, when your opponent has that kind of momentum going for them, you want to uh, you want to uh, to stop it right away. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's and cool them off. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like it's kind of like college basketball. You get a, you get your team on a. 7 10 nothing run or something another like that and they're just scoring and you can't score you got to call a timeout to break that momentum nice oh, neck breaker nice there by zero asher zero with a a uh, a beautiful swinging neck breaker nice, nice elbow. elbow connect beautifully nice uh nice cover but uh simply too early simply too early to cover B. You know, it kind of sounds weird. I don't think he's trying to cover you, Brian. I don't think he is either. However, uh, oh, 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 that's me. That's yeah. Not me either. Yeah. yeah. Well, kind of a who's on first situation. Yeah. What's well, on second? Well, this guy has found a way to get zero down, and that's what he's got to do. <clears throat> he's got to stay on top of him. Yeah, and now he's, again, doing the right thing, getting his opponent into his corner, breaking his face, breaking his face across the, uh, across the ropes. Oh, oh my goodness. that post. Zero holding on for dear life, trying not Almost to Almost fell out, out on his head. head. Trying not to spill. Big clothesline. This Man. could be it right here. This match could be over. No. Zero very resilient. That was really close. Yeah, you can tell. He's, uh, he managed to uh, get his shoulder off the mat, but uh, you, you can tell that he was, uh, he was very rocked by that clothesline. No. Oh, he tags in the Minotaur. Flash and Bennett trying their best to uh, get this crowd 
behind Zero. But right now, Zero is in the wrong part of town. Oh, what a headbutt. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. He with the clothesline right in the neck as he was falling forward. This could be over right now. He is limp right now. This could be it. Got a kick out, but a very weak kick out. Oh, my. He managed to get his shoulders off the mat, but if he doesn't get a, if he is, a, he, if he doesn't able, if he isn't able to recover soon, oh, there, nice uh, desperation uh, jawbreaker there. If he doesn't get to his corner soon, this match is going to be over. And he, he gets the tag to Flash. Flash ducks. Kick to the knee, but he still didn't bring the big man down. Flash just just pounding at the big man. My nice goodness, nice what a fly shoulder tackle. Oh, why? Here, here comes Jackal. Jackal. What's he doing? The Jekyll, the referee has lost complete control of this matchup. And again, you may not like the, uh, the tactics, but uh, again, they stopped the momentum of Flash. He, had, he, he, he was rested and ready to go. But uh, nice slam there by Minotaur. This has to be it right it. here. It's tough. My oh, God. goodness. I think any other man that would have taken them out right there. And again, this crowd is livid from the uh, the tactics of this uh, of the six men of uh, me, Jekyll, and Minotaur. But again, um, dirty tactics or not, they're very effective. And he is just slugging flat. Oh my goodness! And can you imagine one of these? Either one of these competitors gets a pin on the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Champion. Yeah, that's going to put them right in line for a title shot here at AIWF Mid-Atlantic for our heavyweight champion. Uh, he is just taking a pounding right here from the Minotaur. He certainly is, and now, now wearing him down. I mean... at the chest of Flash, but Flash still working his way up and fighting. He Flash, never gives up. Oh not. my God, what a headbutt. Apparently has a very devastating headbutt. He's taken out both Flash and Asher with that, uh, with that devastating headbutt. But I tell you what, I think these guys, I don't think they have faced a competitor like Justin Flash who has the tenacity that he does. Not only is he tough, not only is he fast, he also, oh, my God. He just Big has that boot to the face. can't quit attitude. But that right there, if anything will stop a can-do attitude, can't quit attitude like Flash, it's a big boot to the face. And again, this crowd is livid, but Flash still, I mean, still you can see he is glass-eyed right now. He is he is completely out of it, but he will not give up. And I think the Minotaur, you can't really see his face, but I bet if you could, he would have a look of, of uh, bewilderment right now that oh. has not gone down. That was a vintage splash. He gets the tag to Asher, the fresh man. Close line, he gets him down, but barely. Now Minotaur, again, breaking the momentum, going out of the ring. Yeah, he's doing a smart thing by getting out of the ring. Minotaur breaking the count. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining in this matchup. Tag to Jackal. Jekyll, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, these, these guys are new competitors uh, here, in, uh, here in this area. Is it? It's all good. It's an easy, easy, honest mistake. No worries. And just but one vowel off. Just one, yeah. 
Tomato, nice tomato. There. Big oh, close big line. Swing close. Hold on. This could be it right here. He's signaling that it's it. Don't say it's it. Just, just cover the man. That you have less than you and I have less than four minutes to get this matchup uh, to get a win. It may, it may end up being a time limit draw. Four minutes remain. Yeah, it could be in this matchup. Again, smart maneuver there by Jekyll. And the ref, he, he is having a hard time uh, keeping this, uh, keeping the, keeping control of this matchup. Zero. Oh, Zero's got him up. On his shoulder. Oh, oh my TKO. goodness, what a Goes cut. Goes for the cover. Two. Minotaur with the save. Breaks the pin. Here comes Dustin Flash. Oh, he takes the Minotaur outside. Here we go. All oh, hell is breaking loose it's here in this six it. man. It's just a matter of time before this matchup went crazy, and it certainly has. Flash and Minotaur fighting it out on the outside. Oh. Asher and me. He's got him up. He's got him hooked up and down. Knee. Big close one. My God. In half. This could be it right That's there. it. Good night, Ivory. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Goodness, your winners. what a close line. The team of Chase Bennett, Asher Zero, and Justin Flash. I tell you what, the referee was having a hard time keeping this matchup under control, but finally that's what had to happen uh, for the match to end because it, it kept getting, you know, the pins kept getting broken and, uh, and uh, Minotaur, me, and Jekyll kept breaking the rules, but then once it, uh, once the matchup uh, lost, once the ref lost control, and uh, and it was a three-on-three -three fight, uh, Flash and uh, Zero and yeah. Bennett were able to come out victorious. Yeah, I mean, it, you knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time. I mean. Referee running back and forth from one corner trying to control it. And he's only one man, he can only do so much. You're exactly right. And some people like, uh, like, the, like the idea of having two referees, but uh, from, from my experience, it always ends up, uh, it always ends up with some kind of controversy. One ref wants to make exactly. one, one wants to make another. Yeah. It needs to just be one ref, what he sees, uh, what, he, what he sees.